you're starting to get pressure in that trail foot onto the ball of the outside of the ball of that trail foot, the heels up off the ground. All right, Andrew, let's talk about compression, right? And there's probably one of the most researched YouTube terms would be how to compress that golf ball, how to get that ball first, ground second contact, right? And we yeah. find a lot of players, they get over it from the top and they have that one instinctual thought of just swinging straight down into it. Yes. And I think one of the misnomers, Carrot, is that is this, is that golfers feel like they're gonna compress the ball into the ground they're going to squeeze the ball into the ground okay mm. and you and i know that that really does not happen uh when a player hits the ball correctly it compresses into the face it actually that's an improper term it deforms against the face yeah. um, but i'm not going to say to my students let's go and deform some golf balls okay <laughs> so we stick with I, I love the word compression let's stick with that um, but when we strike the ball properly it really has very little to do with the divot mm. um, jack nicholas compressed the ball beautifully but he didn't really take much in the way of a divot yeah okay yeah. and so it's got to do with the loft of the club face against the direction of travel in the club head, the vertical travel in the direction of the club head coming into impact. And if we can narrow those two, we can improve compression, we can improve energy transfer and really get that ball sizzling out there like the sound of that one right there. Yeah, that came off nice. So yeah. I think the best way to illustrate this is from the, the face on point of view here. And let's use this black line here as a reference for, let's say my ball position, right? Okay. So if I was gonna hit the ball in this direction, where would you commonly see the professional golfer by the moment of impact if they were compressing the golf okay hips are certainly open um, I would say the trail hip is slightly lower than the lead hip mm -hmm. okay um, hips are oh, 25 plus degrees more open than they were at address Correct. Um, the pressure is certainly working into the heel of your lead foot mm -hmm. you're starting to get pressure in that trail foot onto the ball of the outside of the ball of that trail foot the heels up off the ground hands are forward chest is square to maybe slightly open at as we approach impact here or maybe even at impact um, and the player really is working the handle that's the thing about freeze frame when we look at a picture of a golf swing we say oh that's where we want to be uh, we don't really understand what direction everything's moving in and yeah. so we've got to look at a swing in context to the previous frames mm. previous and upcoming frames but ideally we're looking for the handle to be traveling upwards and inwards with an appropriate amount of d loft on the club face yeah sure okay club it's going to be traveling down and a lot of what you said there the golf club was moving at an effect to a lot of the moving pieces of the shifting and rotation of the lower body and the position of the upper body there was no real conscious thought of the players very little out on tour trying to drag that club back down into your yes. back right yes trying to intentionally de it yeah. if certainly if we get the pivot and we get the body working correctly now de-lofting the club and putting more energy compressing the golf ball that much better becomes easy yeah. okay it becomes almost second nature like ooh, that happened um it's nice to have high speed uh, but we don't have to have high speed to be able to compress the golf ball i always say to my students um which club in your golf bag transfers energy best to the golf ball and it's the putter yeah. Why is that the case? Because it's got the least loft. Less okay. deflection, yeah. Yes, it's got the least amount of loft. And so if we're looking to transfer energy from club head to golf ball, um, we don't want to take a 45 degree pitching wedge and deliver 45 degrees of loft. We've got to take some of that off, but that doesn't happen intentionally. Yeah. We get our body working correctly. We get our pressure shifting appropriately. Now all of a sudden the handles forward, the face is de-lofted, and we get that ball first, divot second type strike. Yeah, and I love that. And if I was to recreate that same position at the moment of impact where the professional would be, and all of a sudden all I do is just shift my hips back and rotate them less, well then that wants to push the handle back. And then this is very commonly what we see with the recreational golfer, a bit of buckling of that lead arm. And there's a lot of freeze frames out there with our students that yes. look exactly like this. Yes, teriyaki or a buffalo. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. What kind of chicken wing? Too much wing action on the way through. would you like there? Yeah. 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 So let's okay. put this 
uh, into a little drilling exercise for the guys at home. So let's yeah. say that we need to work the body a little bit better to get some more complete compression on that golf ball as such. Yes. What's something that you would instruct them to do? Okay, here's what I love to see. Um, I, I love, um, and one of the things I do in my golf schools is we have a segment titled strike and we really just go and work on strike and mm. to me if you're striking it properly you're compressing it properly yeah. okay and uh, what I like to look for is I call it nine to three um, lead arm halfway back trail arm halfway through and so nine o'clock to three o'clock where in the follow-through here carrot we're gonna look for a scenario where the arms are extended and the chest feels back mm. okay um, that picture you were referring to earlier everything gets a little forward those arms start to buckle mm. um, but that's the strike that we're looking for um, oftentimes people have the low point too far forward too far back it is possible to have the low point too far forward um, but this little exercise um, really starts to give people a sense of just a little seven iron you know 120 depending on how hard you're swinging but yeah. um, for you 120 would be about right I think for me about a hundred and depending on your club speed you're going to vary that but we're just looking for a low little sizzle nine to three seven iron where we get some of that sense there okay great so if I was then putting that. that into effect and let's say I map that out with a little rehearsal before the golf ball get the lead arm moving to about parallel in the backswing yep. and then on the way through get the trail arm moving correct with the ground now my arms are staying long through the golf ball as I do this. Exactly. Making sure that I'm not trying to force that by pulling the handle around my body. Correct. Where should the weight post follow through be in my feet? I'd like to see heel side, lead foot. Yeah. Okay. Like I can, I can slide my hand under the lead part of your shoe there. Okay. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. We might not see that in driver where we're really pushing off the ground a lot more. And we see a lot of good players almost elevate their feet up off the ground. It's Here we're looking for a little bit more control. Yeah. Okay. And so um, golfers, top golfers pressure trace with the iron is oftentimes very different to that of a driver. And what I'd like to see is something where we're going to get into the forward heel side of your lead foot mm, mm. okay so your shoe's gonna look like so that. a couple of great little checkpoints there for a post impact position and as a result of getting to this frame here all the good stuff down at the moment of impact has happened without us Correct. consciously going let's get our hips this amount open let's drag the handle that far forward let's de loft let's hit down uh, no exactly I love this little post impact drill let's put it into effect and see how it comes out there we go little low bullet super I'll tell you what, that's okay. about as compressed as they come. That was Cheers. nice. Thanks, mate. Well done. <laughs>